Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we have finally got a Transformer. That is right, guys. People have probably been asking me to make a Transformer for a very long time, so I ended up going with Bumblebee. Uh, he's pretty much like the most popular Transformer, I would say. Uh, so this was an extremely difficult build. It took me all week to make it. I am so happy with the end result. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I know somebody though that will share in the hardships of making a Transformer actually, and Luop the Great has made so many Transformers. This is just one that I have made. He has made tons of them, guys. So there's some links in the description. If this is not enough to fill your need for Transformers and Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to go check him out. He has so many of them. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, so guys, in this episode, we are going to be checking out the car shape there, the actual transformation as well. So we're going to see how it gets from that kind of car to the really cool robot that you see there behind me. So let's get right into this episode. All right, so before we do take a closer look at this creation, guys, I do have to warn you that it is an FPS monster. It will suck the soul right out of your computer. I am going to warn you right now. So we are going to look at it on the lift. Uh, when we do take it off, though, we are going to transform it so we can get rid of as much of the lag as we can. Uh, so here it is, though, on the lift with full FPS, which is really nice while we can. Um, overall, I'm extremely happy with the design. There's a few things I had to kind of sacrifice as far as the car goes. Uh, number one, it doesn't drive like this. Don't, don't even try and drive it. I mean, there's not even enough FPS to consider driving this thing. Uh, but aside from that, it's really cool. It looks like the car. Um, but I mean, you can't really quite appreciate it without seeing it transform because I can take out my connection tool right here and you can see that it isn't just a normal car. It is Bumblebee hidden inside. So you can see there are a lot of uh, controllers, a lot of bearings, uh, a few pistons as well that all act in unison to turn this thing in from a Camaro into the Bumblebee robot. So, I mean, I can show you guys this car all day, but I mean, I know why you guys are here. You want to see it transform. Uh, so we are going to make a transform right now. I am going to warn you guys, though, uh, that I unfortunately have a hard time making it transform back into the car so every time I transform it we'll have a look at some of the moving parts and I will respawn it and we will do it again from there. Another thing too actually is this is of course going to be on the Steam Workshop guys links in the description uh, so when you do have it in your world and you're going to spawn it on the lift like this I suggest you hop onto the back right here onto the back of the car uh, you can see that is a seat block right there that controls the transformation button uh, so what I do is I just drop the lift right there and here you go guys as you can see now, I have, I think, 10 FPS, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so what you do is you just hop into that seat right there, and here we go. This is the transformation. It happens pretty quick. All right, so as you can see, there is a lot going on. It does look slightly ridiculous, but there you go. It is transforming. Um, sometimes some of the parts don't work properly. I don't know why. I, I have a feeling that the uh, the collisions in Scrap Mechanic with these modded pieces, uh, sometimes you'll notice if you make a modded door, the door won't open or close. Uh, but there it goes. It actually did settle right into the robot position. Uh, so here you can see, let's try and break down what each part is, and then we'll go back and we'll transform it again and again and again so I can show you guys each individual part, and I will probably try and break the pieces out as well to show you just how many moving things there are. Uh, so let's get a quick look here. So you can see that is the back of the car down here. This here at the bottom of the leg with the lights right there, that is the back of the car. And then obviously the front of the car is right here on his chest piece. Uh, I'm really happy with his head as well. Um, I did have a little bit more depth to it, uh, but didn't actually fit in with the hood of the car, so I had to alter it just a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, he does have some pretty tiny hands. That's all I could manage to fit inside of it, but I think I was going for the overall design more than anything and not an individual part. Uh, so you can see, though, that there's some awesome armor and stuff. We'll see that stuff moving again. Uh, there's his midsection with the lights and everything there. Uh, and here you can see that is where his back doors are, and we even have the hoods of the cars there. Uh, so really cool stuff. So 
it doesn't transform back into a car properly because there's just too many things going on and the modded pieces they don't like each other but here we go sometimes it gets very close to turning back into a car um, sometimes it doesn't so there you go the feet went in everything's kind of flopping down the head is eventually going to go back in I think Ooh, this looks like a very painful transformation let me tell you come on there head get in there all right nope it's not going back in so that was a pretty close one so if this does happen to you in your game though guys you can very easily hop out here grab it on the lift and I have a little spot in between his legs right here that you can actually put it right back onto the lift again uh, so let's get back on top there and take a closer look at some of those mechanics all right, we're all set up again. I am going to do the transformation. This time we will focus on the legs, and I think every time we transform it after that, we will kind of work our way up the body. All right, so here we go. Looking at the legs now, there you go. So there's a few things to mention about the legs. Uh, you can see that they kind of fold outward, um, and there are the armor pieces that rotate around to cover the front of the leg as well as the back which is using some of the internal parts as well as whoa some of the actual paneling of the car you can see right there that is kind of like one of the wheel well parts uh, so pretty cool stuff so let's actually just hop out here real quick we're going to talk about the legs and then we are going to move our way up before i start actually dismantling this thing uh, so here i'm going to point out that there are some downward facing thrusters on each foot here that is used to pin the whole thing to the ground when the transformation begins uh, so we can kind of get a better look here so this wheel right here you can imagine that would actually fold back over and up right on top of it there into the wheel well uh, and the legs just kind of fold back in as well it's hard to tell when it's all transforming because of the fact that everything is kind of moving at once uh, but it's definitely really cool and so that is the armor piece there you can see it's on a pipe and a bearing right there uh, so that thing will actually rotate back internally uh, so that way it can tuck itself away uh, so that's pretty much the legs um, I did however I will mention you can't drive it but I did put bearings on those wheels uh, so theoretically it can move on wheels but there's just not enough lag to do it uh, so let's bring this thing back down and bring it up again and we'll move up all right so we just looked at the legs now it is time to look at kind of like the torso midsection of the car so here we go we're going to transform it yet again all right so now let's look up under there see that there is actually a two-way moving part that flips up and over while the entire top of the car is coming back down on top of it um, now this was one of the most difficult parts getting it right getting it to fit properly and not jam up uh, I used a lot of toy references on YouTube actually to get the mechanics down of this transformer I'm pretty happy with the actual transformation part uh, like I said it doesn't go back to the car very well though and sometimes it does some goofy things like that uh, but that is the midsection uh, we'll we'll press it back to the car mode so you can actually get an idea of what's happening here uh, so the entire thing is going to drop down I'll try and keep the camera steady in there all right so there it's happening right now the entire thing is lifting back over like that and it's flattening itself out and I think that is where a majority of the lag is coming from oh the head's going in come on is it gonna work oh oh man I, I'm telling you this poor transformer he is in pain right now okay uh, so it, it, it almost made it this time uh, but let's set that up again and this time we are going to move on to a different part of the body all right so we've done the legs we've done the midsection so now we're going to kind of move on to the shoulders and the arms where they extend so I'm going to press the key right here and it kind of happens pretty quickly uh, so we are going to see the whole thing rise up like so uh-oh, uh-oh, and that was failed attempt number one. I think Bumblebee just wants to relax. All right, attempt number two to look at the arms and the shoulders. Here we go. All right, this time it's actually working properly. So this is where it kind of happens. So see the wheels on the front end of the car right there? We are going to see them detach. So there they go. The arms will come out and over top of that wheel panel right there. Uh, so it, it was kind of a subtle movement you can see that there is actually a modded piston that black pipe piece is actually a modded piston uh, that pushes the wheels out and then on a bearing they come down like that and that actually allows for the space right here over the uh, the arm and the shoulder to pivot out and actually get the arms kind of extended a little bit better 
Uh, so I'm really, really happy with that. Usually the wheels, uh, they work as intended. Every now and then though, they will glitch up and the arm won't come out properly. But as you can see, it did work without a problem this time. Uh, so let's try yet again. I don't, I don't know why. I just, I really want to see this whole thing turn back into a car properly for once. Um, but I think it's just not going to give it to us. I bet you there was probably some logic I could have put in here to sequence these movements better. Uh, but you guys know I am not too grand at the whole logic thing. All right, so that's not working out too good. So let's set that up one more time. Uh oh. All right, we've done the legs, the midsection, the arms and the shoulders. So now we might as well move on to the back, which is actually the entire hood section. So we're going to press it right now. And here we go. You can see that the pistons pop the whole hood up just like that. And uh-oh, he is ready for another nap. Oh, well, every Transformer's got to take a break. All right, so we're just going to keep moving up the body. So this time we are going to take a look at the back section. So there you go. You can see the modded pistons push the roof of the car ridiculously high and I did that for a reason I just wanted to make sure it got out of the way and one thing I do love is that the hood everything comes down as the arms separate it's like timed perfectly uh, so you can see there the uh, the whole hood section does retract back in with those pistons uh, kind of giving it some of that back armor that it would need of course uh, so really cool stuff uh, I did put the uh, the bottom section there as well as the top on bearings so that they kind of just close back in a little bit and provide a little bit more cover and a little more bulkiness to the entire Transformer. Because that was one of my main concerns was making it seem like it had some bulk to it and it wasn't just like a stick figure popping out of a car, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, so let's try one more time again here just to kind of put it all in. You can actually see pretty well everything that's happening. Like the legs almost look like they're rotating as the armor changes. Uh-oh. Is this going to stand upright as it turns into a car? What? Okay. You got to be kidding me. This thing just turned into a car and it is standing up. But you can actually get a really good view underneath the car right here. You can see where each individual part is. Um, it, it's kind of hard to make sense of it all, but... Um, I think I'm going to do one more transformation, guys, and then I'm going to start taking the pieces out just so you can kind of get an idea of each individual part that went into it. All right, so for the last transformation, we are going to take a look at the head and the front of the car and what happens there. So let's press the one key. All right, so everything pops up like intended. And here we have a nice front view. So you can see the head is tucked away right underneath that front hood. It kind of just pops right out, I guess. And you can see right here... The, uh, the front grille of the car kind of pivots down like that, and it gives it that really mean look. Uh, so here's an example, though. This one, for some reason, just didn't work. And I know I've done this in many creations before, where modded polygons, when they interact with each other, for some reason, they like to stick to each other. Uh, maybe it's because they just want to, you know, stay away from vanilla parts. I'm not too sure. All right, so that is the front there with the head. So we can reverse that whole sequence one more time before we start tearing this little transformer apart. Uh, so we get an idea of the head eventually kind of tucking back in underneath the hood there. Uh, I guess I could probably put a delay on the hood parts actually, uh, but I mean, nonetheless, this thing is so laggy, I just, I reset it anyway. All right, so we did take a look at all the transforming parts and seeing them in action, but this time, guys, I'm just going to actually keep it on the lift here, and we are going to take a look at more stuff a little more in-depth so we can get a better idea of what is going on. So let's actually just kind of lower ourselves in here, and we are going to start dismantling this. Uh, of course, don't worry, guys, I got it saved on the lift, and it is, like I said, on the Steam Workshop. All right, so this is one of these sections right here, actually. So let's just break that off. So here you go. You can see that that is more than just the wheel. So I'm just going to put this back on a lift right here. So that is one of the panels uh, right here. Obviously, it does match on the opposite side there. Uh, so that is the whole panel piece taken out. And that does have a piston involved in it. All right, so we can actually just kind of lift this up right here. We might as well just break this one as well. well let's break it right about there. All right, drop that piece out. So those are the panel pieces. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting. So here, that's a front piece right there that's on a bearing and another one right there. So you can see that those are the front panels. 
Uh, let's see, this is kind of fun, actually, to tear this thing apart. Uh, the doors are a separate piece as well, but I can see, actually, that the legs are in the way. So let's get the uh, connection tool out here. I'm trying to think of the best way we can break these legs out. You know what, actually, everything is connected to this midsection right here, uh, which is actually pretty interesting. So let's bring that up a little bit more here. Uh, I can break probably these right here. Okay, that definitely just did something. All right, so that's the entire front section of the car. So, all right, so we're not lagging as much as we take it apart and separate each piece here. So this is kind of cool. Uh, we can actually get right in here. Now, I do know uh, that the hood is all hooked up off of these pistons here, so we can break that off as well. So you can see that is the whole hood component here with all of the bearings there that fold everything in on that section. Uh, let's see. So these are the arms, actually. This is kind of interesting. We can see as we dismantle the whole thing, each individual piece as they appear. So that's the front there that doesn't do anything. Those are the arms that are folded inward, that fold out. And here we go. There we go. That's the piece de resistance right here. Look at that. So that is the head of Bumblebee, just to give you guys a little sense of how big the whole thing actually is. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it for this section. This is also the part that is used to pivot the entire body and the upper part of the torso together and lay flat like that. And then we can kind of just quickly dismantle this a little bit so we can get an idea of what the legs are doing. All right, so let's see here. This is actually the, um, the door panel there and there, so we can kind of get a better look at that. So that is what... The entire door panel looks, which kind of gives Bumblebee his uh, say, uh, signature trademark, the wings on his back there from the car. Uh, let's see now. <laughs> this is a little more overwhelming to take apart than I thought it was going to be. All right, so that's the seat. We can just kind of ditch that right there. You know what's kind of interesting, actually? I still have the switch. So let's just see what happens when we press that switch. Huh. Look at that. So as you can see... The only thing left are the back legs, actually, so that's really cool. Um, you can kind of actually get a really good sense of, of zero lag and watching the armor go up. So the thrusters activate there, uh, so you can see the whole thing go up like that, and then there's the armor. You can see the back piece flipping that way and the front one flipping that way as well. So that was actually really convenient because I didn't think I was going to be able to get a chance to show you guys how the legs work. Uh, but you can see they actually pivot all the way up like that, straight up and down. And then those kind of give it the uh, that illusion of the knees being really up high there, which gives some more uh, proportions to the entire vehicle. Uh, I do want to mention actually as well in the, uh, in the whole front part of the car here. Where is the front part? Ah, uh, yes, here it is. So I actually have some thrusters here. Uh, that are in the front part. So when the whole thing was transforming earlier in the video there, uh, there's actually thrusters in the front part of the car that lift it up with the thrusters in the feet pinning it down so that way they kind of pull the whole transformer apart. Uh, so that is now an extremely large mess. But you know what, I want to spawn it one more time guys so we can just kind of appreciate the whole thing for what it is. All right, so here we go, guys. One more transformation for the record. All right, it's popping up, springing with no issues whatsoever. There are the thrusters underneath it, giving it that separation that it needs. The whole thing kind of moves all at once like that. Wow. That is something else. Let me tell you, guys. That was a week well spent in Scrap Mechanic. I had a ton of fun making this thing. Um, so, guys... Thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. Um, if you did enjoy the video, or if you really enjoyed this Scrap Mechanic build, then let me know, please, by hitting that like button, or down in the comment section as well, you can let me know there too. Uh, and of course, guys, if you do want to sign up for Endless Scrap Mechanic, then make sure you subscribe for it, because that is what is going on on the channel here. Uh, so this was one heck of a build, guys. Make sure you check it out on the Steam Workshop. It is going to be available. Links down in the description. So thanks again, guys, and I will be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.